What's up? My name is Chris Smith and this is a seven minute walkthrough on how to build an app that will load a CSV file into your Firestore instance using Retool. Check it out. We'll start from the Retool home screen and go up to the resource tab and select the create new button and then find the Firebase icon so that we can configure your Firebase resource. Then give it a name and log into your Firebase instance and go to the settings panel and there you'll find the project ID. You'll need this to uh, paste into the configuration screen. So we'll do that and then go to your service accounts section and generate a new private key and you can copy and paste that in and test the connection and then we'll have uh, access to the Firebase resource. And we can go ahead and create an app using this resource. So we'll give it a name and say, uh, this is the upload CSV to Firebase application. And then we get into the builder. So let's go ahead and delete this initial table here. And next we want to grab the file picker component on the right hand panel and we'll upload our file so that we can see the file's parsed data populated in the left hand panel. And here we can see the parsed value property is an array of 25 items with each row being its own individual object. So next we'll grab a table component and drop it in so that we can visualize this CSV data. We'll go to the inspect pane and change the data input to reference the file picker parsed value. We can see the data in the table updates, so I'll resize it, move the button over, change it to compact mode to see more data, and add a text component, and give it a title and use markdown to set the title size. Next, let's set up the queries. So we'll select the Firebase resource and change the service type to Firestore and change the action type to insert document. Then set the collection ID and we'll save the query and change the name. And now we're going to set a button in our table to link to this insert document query. This will work on a row by row basis. And we'll cover a little bit of how we can do this as a bulk operation at the end of this video. So our next step is to go to the right hand panel and choose new action. When we do this we can change the name of the button we just created and let's set it to upload. And now we can link the button action to the insert document query, which will pass an I variable into the query, which we can then reference in the value field. So for our example, we need to pass in four key value pairs inside of an object. And next we will insert the curly braces to reference the table data for the row that was clicked on. And we'll reference the email value and then copy and paste this and modify it for the other three keys. Next we will add a response for when a successful query runs and give it a success message to notify the user. And so we'll write inserted document into Firestore. And we can test this clicking on individual rows and clicking upload. This gives us some notifications and a reference ID in the bottom panel. To validate our data is making it into Firestore, we'll create a second query and list the documents in our Firestore collection. We click preview on the query and this will give us a sense of the data that's gonna come back. So we'll set up another table following the same steps we followed earlier. And we'll change the data input for the table to reference the list documents query. 
click save and run and this will populate the table with the values that are returned from Firestore. And finally, let's add an on success trigger so that each time we insert a document, we will refresh the Firestore table. And with that, we've completed the first phase of this project. We could upload any CSV with these headers and quickly insert individual rows into our Firestore. While this is valuable for getting a bunch of individual rows into Firestore, uh, it sometimes is necessary to upload an entire file. So that requires a slightly different query architecture. I'll give a quick overview of that in this next section and cover it a little bit more in detail in some future videos. There are two queries we need to accomplish this. The first is a JavaScript query which will loop through each of the rows and call the insert document bulk query, passing in the data for that row. The insert document bulk query then receives the data from that loop for each iteration and inserts each individual row. And with these two queries together, we can link the first one to the button and upload the entire file to our Firestore. So that sums it up. I hope it was helpful for you. If you have any questions or comments, feel free to drop them in the comments box below. Uh, you can also join the Retool community at community.retool.com. And until next time, cheers. Bye.